Hi, welcome to the GF channel. Today we're fixing our um, interior lights. The issue with them, so these are the symptoms that I have, it's currently running at door. And now I open my door and there's no one. But if I switch to on position, it actually works. Only the door position doesn't work. Now, uh, I already started uh, uh, this assembly to show you. I actually know where the problem is. Mm, I'm hoping that's the only problem. I'm gonna walk you through the whole process of figuring out the, the problem. If you want only the problem and the solution, check the description for shortcuts. So, uh, this one doesn't have any electronics in it. That's bad news because this means the issue is not here um, the really bad news is the issue is here this one the speedometer or instrument cluster it actually controls this one here uh, so this means there's something wrong with the speedo the speedo is working totally fine there's n there are no other issues but uh, this is not working so let's start Removing, let's see if this one is removed. <clears throat> okay, so we do not need to remove this, just check the colors. We see one that is red and white. Come on, focus, and the other one is blue with red, and we should start searching for those somewhere here now I already went, know where they are because I already tapped into them and actually that's the reason why they burned out because why, why this thing burned out because well I did something bad with my experiments here they are these are the two wires so this connector with three pins which only two are used uh, probably the third one is for if you have a a hole in the ceiling, don't know how it's called there. Uh, these are the pins here. There are two of, two of them. So, uh, first we need to figure out, uh, let me show, show you how, it, uh, tell you how actually this is working. So you have here one constant 12 volts, constant 12 volts. Uh, they are always here no matter what. This is because you might want to click this button at all times and you still have to lead this bulb. So constant 12 volts are coming to here. When you place your switch to on or this switch, they both do the same. They get the ground from the screws to the chassis here. Um, so this is how this is why on is all is working and these are also working at door position ground so-called ground is controlled by the speed speedometer because they actually send uh, not ground but they send uh, between 0 and 12 volts and that's how your lights are dimming out when they start sending uh, instead of 0 volts they start sending 5 volts or 6 volts actually now your um, lights are half the they have half the volts because difference between 6 and 12 is 6 so they're actually working only on 6 volts and they are half the brightness that's how it's working so we know that for sure we need to find the wire that is not the constant 12 volts now you could get there uh, a multimeter and check which one is it or you could get again a multimeter and get one of these which I have from another car which I believe it's good to show in this case uh, so this is the this is the multimeter we do uh, sound detection the continuity detection with sound let me see how I'm gonna do it with one hand because I know that I know which one is which I'm gonna just uh, place the wrong one currently okay so 
the two pins on this connector are the, the far most. The right one is the one with constant 12 volts. So I have connected this and how do I know? This is the room, so this is um, this is like that for the power for the power windows here, those two. So the room is this one. Room 10 amperes is this one here, which is missing. And when I do this, continuity between the room 10 amps, which is always on 12, 12 volts, the, there are 12 volts here always, they go to this pin. So this means the other pin, the other pin is somewhere not here I know because I tested it doesn't go through a, a fuse and that's why you need such thing actually for sure to figure out which pin is here so I go here I know the pin it's this one so when we now we're gonna go under the uh, we're go, gonna go there to the mounted one when we start looking we are gonna look at the top connector the the far most uh, it's actually the second row there are only two rows so not the one towards us but the one at the back and we count the second cable down to, f to see the color of the cable that's the idea to see the color of the cable so we can actually trace it back to the speedometer okay let me see how I'm gonna do that with the camera so, camera is not going to fit here, oh, it's actually fitting. So this purple with white is the cable now, I am pretty much unable to do it, but you can see it's right behind this pink which is the second, there is missing cable on top, then there is one pink, and right behind the pink we have this purple with white. Okay. Purple with white, and because I know it's from the speedo, and how do I know that? Well, I can show you how. I have a second speedo, and I've actually read on the forums, and I know that it's the speedo. But now I'm gonna show you. Let me just sw swap them. Okay. So this is another speedo, uh, and now if I, now, yes the ground is actually gonna come from here, so this should lit when I open the door, and here you go. And now when I close it, it should go, go out, but after 15 seconds or something. So, uh, and as you can see, I only, I, I didn't use this, I used only the big one, because I know it's actually the signal from here. It's actually going there and here you go goes out so somewhere here is our cable and our cable is again at the back I'm actually gonna unplug it to show you the fourth one this cable here and to make sure it's like that let me just take this out and to make sure it's this one I am going to use um, I'm going to use some continuity check again, so I'm plugging in this one, like that, I'm hoping it's not gonna fall, let me try to plug it in tighter, of course if you do that with two hands you're gonna be way faster, okay, so what I'm doing right now, I'm gonna open actually the door, get my multimeter, place it on the dirty ground. One of the problems that I have to solve these days. Okay, stick my, let me use the two hands because I'm gonna fuck it. Okay, remove the cable from here. Okay, and now use the other one on exactly this spot here, and this is it. 
So that's our cable. That's the cable that goes from the speedo speedometer, instrument cluster, or whatever you call it, to the interior lights. And now the fun part. Since we have this, I'm gonna grab first the other one. Since we already have the uh, pin that we need, we can start measuring. Now, in our in my case, the the damage is visible, but this is the so this is the pin. Uh, we count four like that. So this is the fourth one here. Let me grab something pointy so I can point better. Bah. Ah, yes, this sticky thing. Okay, so one, two, three, four. That's the fourth one. Actually goes like that and goes into this MOSFET transistor. So I thought the MOSFET is actually done. This is the, actually the, the working one. Uh, I thought the MOSFET is done. Um, because I knew I have shortened this pin to ground. And this means lots of electricity went through here to that MOSFET. Uh, then I checked the MOSFET, it's uh, K2926, I checked it on the internet, it has actually lots of juice in it. Um, like 60 amps or something like that. That's quite a lot of juice and I guessed in my case maybe uh, maybe this didn't fail, something else failed. Yes, something else failed. Um, I did that at uh, home on this one, all those researches. I left my my own in the car because, well, in the car I, I, I ran out of time. So, this is the original speedometer of the car. And, yeah, come on. Okay, so here you can directly see differences. So we get the third one, the fourth one, and there's no this thick, good uh, one, two, three, four, and there is no thick, good uh, um, track. Instead, there is this tiny little more track here that has actually burned out. And that's my issue. Maybe if your speedometer was the other type, where it was a thicker one, maybe then this will burn out. But in my case, there's a tiny little track here that actually went bad. So now I'm gonna solder just a wire from here to here and see if that fixes my issue. And that is the fix. So let's test. Okay, let me place it back on its place. Speeder is here and time to open the door. Woohoo! Beautiful. Beautiful. So that's all. Now I'm gonna start assembling the car if you do not know how to remove this. Uh, basically you have one screw up here, this one, and it's going back and it went back. Okay. So I have one screw here, um, actually maybe here will be easier, two screws first to remove this on top, so these two. After you remove it you have to pull from here for these metal fasteners on both sides. Then you have this screw here holding this thing and two screws here and one in the same on the opposite. 
here, which where I cannot. You have to pull this down. So when you remove the connectors, you can take it off from here and of course turn your wipers switch at the lowest position. That's it. I hope this video was helpful to you. Hit subscribe button and I'll be posting more videos soon. Bye.